Hello. I see a couple of friends have joined us. I see Connie and I see Birdie and I see Doris. Hello, hello. How was your day today? It's supposed to cool down, I think, starting tomorrow a little bit. Here it got a little overcast this afternoon. And the sun went behind a cloud or something. So we had a busy day today here at the store. Got to see lots of friends, which is always nice. We like seeing our friends. Tonight's project is easy. And I'll explain. I'm going to wait a little bit and see if we get some more friends joining us. Summertime's a busy time for people going on vacations and school's going to start again pretty soon, right? The summer's going fast for the kids. So yeah, I was watching, um, hey, fancy pants, Fox, I get Fox News emails and there was a house in somewhere in Alaska. Oh my gosh. It, it was, was falling off. It was so it's scary. So sad. One minute it's there and the next minute it's collapsing into the river, I guess. Oh, so your husband went to Minnesota, Doris. What part? Minnesota. I haven't been to Minnesota in about 10 years. I should go. I don't know. The time goes so fast. You think, oh, this is a year or two ago, and then you do the math, and it's like 10 years ago, and you're like, what happened to the last eight years? It goes fast. Oh, a bunch of friends just got on. There's Mickey and Margaret. And who do we have from Northern California? We have Sandy. All right. Oh, he went to Duluth. Ooh, Duluth is cold in minute in the winter time. Yeah, it's a muggy day, huh, Margaret? Because it it looks a little overcast here, so I'm sure it's muggy. This morning it was nice, early this morning. So what time we got? We we give them people five minutes. What do you say we get going? So, you have all I'm sure heard of pivotal moments. Well. This isn't a pivotal moment, but it's a pivoting moment because the project I had planned for you tonight, I discovered this morning I couldn't find one of the tools I desperately needed to do the project. So that means I had to pivot. So that's okay. We can pivot. Oh, he grew up on Park Point. We can pivot. I was in Southern Minnesota, so anyway. So we are pivoting tonight. We're going to do, um, we're going to use the scan mat. We're going to use the low tack mat. We're going to use the standard blade. So the low tack mat is the blue mat. Standard blade is the black, black blade. And we're going to cut chipboard. And I know some of you attended Salima's retreat you're dizzy from pivoting. I know, we've all had to pivot a lot these days, right? Anyway, some of you attended Salima's retreat and um, for the Solaris um, Luminaire upgrade. So in that was couching and we cut like what looks like spools of thread and wrapped yarn around it. So that's what I'm gonna show you tonight. And just keep in mind, this can be used for other than yarn. You could make them smaller and do embroidery floss. You could make them and store ribbon on it. Because a lot of people I've seen have, take the ribbon off the round spools it comes on and put it on something flat because it um, it's easier to store, right? It's not as bulky. So you just keep those kind of thing, ideas in mind. I'm sure you guys will come up with more ideas than I have, but it's just kind of cute because it looks like a spool of thread, but um, it's not, but it looks like it. Anyway, so let me change cameras here. So here we are. This is the image that I have that we're going to scan. So as always, I search the computer for copyright free clip art copyright free so 
this is what I got and here's my scan mat so it's blue at the top and black on the bottom so the scan mat has this film that lifts and you slide whatever you're going to scan into it and there you are so that so we're going to go straight over to our scan and cut and we're going to scan have to see which camera it is. All right. Fake me out there for a minute because it looked like it was the looked like something else. Then looked like scan and cut. All right. So here we go. So we our scan and cut has taken a little snooze. So we're gonna wake her up. Salima's here looking at comments. I am. It's been a busy day. Selima was teaching this morning. She was teaching another IQ My Design Center class, so I just bumped her camera. Fortunately, it wasn't the camera we're using. So I'm going to load the mat. I don't think you guys need me to see need to see me load the mat, right? You've seen that five hundred thousand times. All right, so we're going to select scan and so direct cut, I would use that if I had put my image on, let's say I, um, let's say you're making stickers or something, you could scan it and directly cut it. You go directly from scanning to cutting, but obviously we don't want to do that because we're using a scan mat. So you don't want to do that. And then we're going to, so we're going to do scan to cut data. And what we're going to do is scan it and then you save it to your machine. And then there's also scan to USB. So you could do that. Some people, I guess, scan their documents. There. Or you could do it and take it to um, Canvas Workspace. I couldn't even think of it. And then you could do it wirelessly to Canvas Workspace. So we are going to do scan to cut data. And we're going to go ahead and start, and I can change cameras. Okay, so right now the lever on the left is in position one. Lots of times when you're scanning, it wants it in position two. So you just push down on it. Okay, I am going to change cameras because you guys like to watch it, don't you? So I'm just pressing the start, and it's going to scan the image. So this is a super easy image to scan because the outside, we just want the outside lines, right? We don't, we're not going to cut anything on the inside. So it's a super image, super easy image to scan because the outside is very clear. Okay, I'm going to change cameras again so you can see what the screen says. All right, so basically, we want the outline. This would be, see, this would be cutting all these pieces separate. And then this one would also be, it's a, there isn't a lot of difference on this image because the outline is basically very crisp and clean. I mean, these inside things. There's not a lot of peripheral stuff happening. But we just want to cut just the outline. The outer outline. See, we don't want to cut here, here, here. We just want this outer outline. And we're going to... Now, the scan mat's very clean. But if you were using... Like, let's say you didn't have a scan mat. So you're using your regular mat. You're going to have all kinds of stuff in the background. So one way to avoid that... And we're going to go ahead and do it anyway is to draw in your image so you don't have all that stuff happening in the background. Another way, if you had little things going on in the background, you could select ignore object size. And then you could like increase this so that eventually you'll see all this little, if there were, it disappear. So that's how you could do that. So we're gonna say okay. And then we're gonna say okay again. 
and it's processing so it processed it so where do you want to save it to we are going to go ahead and do it to our machine but you could do it to a stick or you could do it wirelessly i'm gonna have to catch up on the comments in a little bit marty made it it was good to see you today marty so um connie you can scan from another mat okay and save the design so i'm gonna say okay and i'm gonna hit my back arrow and say okay to delete scan image and we're gonna just go back and we're gonna retrieve data but let me unload the mat let's go to okay Connie you can use other mats for scanning but as you know we got a lot of stuff happening in the background of our other mats and so it would pick up a lot of stuff let me show you here like um like see there's this on the mat now we have used this mat a lot so there's not a, a lot of outlines on it from where we've cut before but a standard mat, chances are you're going to have lots of stuff happening in the back. And the scanner is so good, it's going to pick up those things in the back. So, um, and, and as I showed, you could draw the arrows in to help get rid of some of that. And you can also use the object size, ignore object size. Alrighty, so we're done with the scan mat. We're done with our image. So we're going to take it away. And we are going to select our low tack mat. So remember the low tack mat's blue. Alright. And here's my chipboard. There's my chipboard. So I think what we'll do is we'll cut a number of different sizes. I can't remember. I saved the ones I cut in Salima's machine. I saved them. Um, no, none of the machines come with the scan mat. I just saw that. Yeah, the, it's a scan mat is not something. Oh, wireless transfer. Yeah, you, you can do that. Um, anyway. The, um, it's not, Connie, it isn't that the mat's sticky. It's more about if it's messy in the back because it'll pick it up. So I'm just taping my chipboard down. And I am going to do a couple different sizes. Anyway, what I was saying was I had, we cut a lot of these spool things for... So basically, Doris, all I've ever done to re-sticky my mat is clean it with um, baby wipes. Alcohol-free, fragrance-free baby wipes. I haven't had a problem with it. Seems to be. But as you can see, I use tape a lot, right? I like tape. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, my goodness. Oh, anyway, for Salima's retreat, we were cutting, I don't know, I needed like 40 of them for each retreat. So I was cutting it so they're like three or four on one thing. But tonight, we're going to vary our sizes just so you can get an idea. All right, so I've brayered my chipboard down. I've taped it down. And just a refresher, we're on the low tack mat. All right, so I am going to, you know, once again, you don't need to see me load the mat because you've seen that lots and lots of times. So what I'm going to do is load my mat off camera. Ouch, I just bumped my hand on the, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah, I just bumped the camera. That's why you saw that little wave action happening. All right, so we are going to retrieve our data. And it's on the machine, so I'm going to select the machine. And it usually, it's probably at the end. So there it is. I'll show you. 
This is the one where it was for Salima's retreat. We're going to go to the one we scanned. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to say OK. And I'll touch it so it's selected now. So I'm going to say Edit. And I'm going to say, hopefully my hand's on right, Object Edit. And we're going to check out the size. So this is six by three. So let's let's go ahead and leave that one. Chipboard is, um, yeah, it's a form of cardboard. I know chipboard, it sounds like it's made out of some kind of wood, right? But it's, um, it's like a cardboard, cleaner than your cardboard boxes. So I'm going to rotate this one. 90 degrees, I'm going to move it up, and then I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to plus, and for now I'm going to just add one, and then I'll move that down, and let's see, let's make this one a little bit smaller, keep it proportional, oops, I'm making it bigger, what the heck, I think I need a nap, what is going on, so let's make it, like two inches high. This is just all totally random, okay? Doesn't matter. Two inches high. Let's say okay. We can pick our original one again and once again do plus one. We're just gonna, I'm gonna move it down. Did I just yell? Sorry. And I'm gonna <laughs> size this one up. Sometimes it seems like my voice is very loud. I don't know, maybe not. Now Your gonna, voice loud? I know that. No. I don't think so. Everybody says that. <laughs> okay, that one I'm going to make an inch and a half. So I want you guys to come up with clever ideas about what we... I'm going to select this guy again. And plus one again. We'll just cut clever ideas of what we can do with these guys. Let's move him down. This time, let's try sizing it, but not making it proportional. Let's see what happens. So you notice what would normally be the height is the width now, because it's rotating. So let's make it a little bit shorter. Sandy's asking, what is chipboard? Oh, yeah, answered that already. yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm late to the party. You're late to the party. I had to step away, and that's what happens when you step away. So let's make this kind of a squatty dotty little guy, right? He's kind of, he's been eating Rip Bear floats all summer. <laughs> let's take this guy and plus one again. Today I think I could use the Rip Bear float. I'm a little warm. Okay, now I'm going to rotate it because obviously I run out of room. Um, let's see. Hmm, what should we do with this one? I don't want to make it skinny because th then it really won't be very purposeful, right? We can make it a little shorter. So this looks good. Kind of like that one. And then let's do one more. We can just go ahead and duplicate this guy. And bring him down. I'm wondering if we're doing ribbon on this, maybe we should make it a little, let's make it disproportionately a little taller because we can't make it too tall because it's not going to fit. We're going to move it up a little bit. Let's make it wider. There we go. That looks like it'd be good. And you know what you, you know how um, people wrap their your fabric on like what is it called comic book things you could make your own of those and just remember you're limited to three millimeters thick right but in theory you could make your own and cut it out and you probably want to make sure it's acid free so I'm gonna say okay okay and okay I want to get to my scan my background and I think I, I was thinking Obviously, this is not 12 by 12, and I was using 12 by 12. So we might have another pivoting moment where we get rid of some of these guys because they won't all fit. 
But that is the beauty of the scan and cut, right? And you can buy chipboard. All right, see when it's really hard to see the background? So I'm going to touch this guy, and I'm going to dim my background. All right, look at that. I just, like, made these guys ridiculous. They aren't all going to fit. What am I thinking? So I think we're going to, we might have to, we could just make that, this guy smaller. So we're going to edit him. Object edit. Uh, size it. Disproportional. Let's make him a little shorter. Actually, it's width rise, right? Okay. He's going to be squatty dotty again. All right. Here we go, kids. This looks good. I'm happy. So I'm going to say okay, <clears throat> and okay, and okay, and okay, and um, please select, cut. Okay, like, you know, we are the queen of vinyl here, so our half cut is pretty much always on. But in this case, we don't want it on, so we're going to select tools, we're going to scroll down, and turn our hat, cuff, hat cut off. So half cut is used when you're doing heat transfer vinyl, adhesive vinyl, but I also use it when I make stickers and use sticker paper. Because then if half cut is on, it only cuts through the sticker material, so you still have that backing sheet and it makes it easier to peel them. So I'm going to say OK, and we're ready to go. So let me change cameras because I know you guys like to watch this. And I also want to point out I have the standard black black blade auto blade in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I like your top lid. I just noticed it. Thank y'all. I like the print. It's all. You had an apron on. That's why I couldn't yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were covering. I was working today, so I had an apron. Look at this. One minute. One minute. Oh, it's super cute. Yeah, so Marty, it does. So, I don't know if chipboard is acid free, but I'm sure you could find acid free and just remember three millimeters is your limit. And um, then you could make your own comic board things to wrap your fabric up. And if it isn't thick enough, you could always cut single but then double it, right? So it makes it more sturdy. More better? More better. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I really don't know how much those comic book things cost. So I don't know if it's worth it to do it, but you know, it's an option. It's an option. We like options. Also, it's updated the finished cutting time. So it went and sensed it, and I probably went, oops. I didn't put enough pressure on. I gotta cut again. It's so clever. It's so smart. I love it. God, remember the days of test cutting? Oh my gosh. It added so much time to your um, project because you were test cutting, test cutting, test cutting. That's all my kids remember when they were using the scan cut. Yes, the test cut. Hey, Diamond. There she goes again. Taking this chipboard very seriously. So, Miss Sandy, I did buy it off of Amazon. Hey, Deborah. So, we can probably add a link to our affiliate link tomorrow if you're interested. It's like a hundred in a pack or something like that. Okay. But that way they get the right stuff. If you put yeah. the affiliate link, they'll get the right type, exactly. the right weight, and the right. Exactly. Yeah, we can do that tomorrow. 
So I'm going to go it finished. I'm going to just unload my mat and let's go see what we got here. Let's see how exciting this is. Overhead. All right. What have we got? These are just so cute. I think they're cute. Maybe I'm easily amused. You are never late, Deborah. The door is always open, except the, the, the store door, you know. Because <laughs> we're not going to stay here all day and all night. Sorry. Sorry. But when we have this going on, you can come whenever you like. And of course, if you totally missed it, you can watch the replay. It's no big deal. That's one advantage, right? Do you have one of those yarn things handy, Selena? Which thing? Oh yarn? yeah, right here. Oh, I think there was some back there, but I didn't see. I'll show you what we did with um, for Selena's retreat. It's so darn cute. Super cute. All right, now the tape is up. Now let's see the magic moment. Look at that. How fun is that? Oh, you could use like this this part as a stencil. All right, see all our little different sizes? They're so cute. And then if you wrap something around it, it really does look like thread. It's so cute. So you could use, um, like if you had different ribbons, you could like put them all on here. This would be good for like embroidery floss. See, all these different sizes. So this is what we did for Selena's retreat. Oh, you could do like stack balls. Oh, I'm wondering, I'm thinking for our sewing friends what little gift we could make. You could cut it out of something else besides chipboard. Let's say you cut it out of vinyl, like marine vinyl, and you cut two the same size. You could like sew it and then open it you could so okay here we go let's cut it out of like green vinyl and felt and then we can make it the same size we can sew it here like here and then open it and you have your felt pieces in there and they could use it for like uh needles right oh i like that idea okay so this is what we did for sleeper's retreat we cut the um and then it looked like spool of thread. So they used this when they were couching. There's, do you still have room in your retreat in September? September, I have, I think, only like two or three spots. Oh, so the retreat uh, is for the Solaris and Luminaire upgrade. Okay, so actually the projects, two of the pro, oh, all three. But one of them you can't see. So it's, uh, I know this isn't scan and can't relay, but that's okay. This is a endless embroidery. This is the couching. So this is what we used the spools for. And then you can't see it, but there's a little towel here that features a no-show, which is really cool. And then this, she did taught today for her monthly club. The new, the 2.0 club. So, my friends, do you have suggestions about what we could use these little guys for? I think I'll try that, make a little needle book thing. That would be cute. Can you see the size, the small size? Oh, they're cute. Aren't they cute? Mm -hmm. So, I, I have a lot of spools of ribbon. And I, some people, this lady hired an organizer person. And she cut out something, well, I mean, they used something like this. And they took the ribbon off the spools and wrapped it around something like this. And then in the little storage bin, they just stuck them like this. So you could flip through them like, uh, like, um, I don't know, card file. I don't know where my words are tonight. So Doris, the 2.0 Club is um, Luminaire, uh, Solaris, 
and it's in the hoop project. So there was the not in the hoop. Just, not in the hoop. Just IQ designer, my design center, embroidery projects, edge okay. to edge, all kinds of machine type projects. Yeah. So but this one was really cool. This one was really neat. Oh yeah, this would work great. You could use this for your floss for sure. Like like the little ones, because embroidery floss is very big, right? Yes, yes, much better. You're right, Bouncy Pants. The flat ones are better for storing because those cardboard things. So, like, what do you get on, how many yards of ribbon do you get on those cardboard things? They take up so much room. Mm -hmm. And they're different sizes, you know. This is all, put a slit in the top, that's right. So, why don't you guys do this? Oh, maybe we can give them the PDF. I'd have to look for it. Maybe we can, if I, if I can find the PDF, I'll post it to the group under files, I guess. And then let's see what you do with it. That's a challenge. You can make little cards, like stack them. Cut it out a different for your sewing friends. We could make like gift card holders. Oh, that's so cute, Mickey. Make um, recipe cards and cut it out different food shapes. Like cut a banana shape and banana nut bread. Let's, let's go crazy with this idea. Anyway, that's all I have for tonight. It was quick and easy and fun, right? Well, I thought it was fun. I don't know if you guys thought it was fun. fun. Do you have any other questions or suggestions? I like it when you guys are thinking and you got some ideas for these projects. That's fun. We're going to take these home and we're going to slap some stuff on them. All righty. We can talk about our Scanica community. Yes. So, they August 20th? Us. Yeah, August. Well, let me look. Is August 20th? Yeah, so August 20th is our next class. August 20th, so Scan and Cut Community is what now, 20 a month? 19 a month. $19 a month. Or you can pay for a year. If you pay for a year, you get two months free. So we are doing, and some of the folks on here are part of the community, so if they want to comment, they feel free to. We uh, do a project once a month, then we throw in some bonus files bonus videos we had a Q&A things like that it's a lot of fun I don't have any projects right here right now but we've done glass etching we've done we made cute coasters yeah we made coasters with adhesive vinyl we learned how to weed the oh, lamp the first project <laughs> they loved that first project come on it was a lamp and it was a lot a lot of weeding that was fun so though. but it, it's it's like classy looking. And, and this then, next month, we are going to do um, rhinestones, but a different kind of rhinestone yeah. technique. Rhinestone-ish. Ish. <laughs> Rhinestone-ish technique. Yes. Um, and and we are going to feature it using software. And so the Scanica community members look out in the group for a video mm. on how to do that. Intriguing video. Yeah, it's a training video in addition to the monthly class. In addition to the monthly class, yes. And we have a drawing. Oh, this month we got to do two. Yes, we do, two drawings. So what we do is encourage people who are in the community to post the, their projects to both the community and to this group, and then we draw names for a prize. So that's, all, that's fun, right? Prizes are fun. Can't wait. You can't wait for the next Scan and Cuts. Uh, the Scan and Cut community meeting is, I believe it's August 20th. Sunday, August. So the, the classes are Sundays, uh, I don't know, is it usually the third Sunday? Usually the third Sunday, yeah. But we, po we post it all a year ahead of time with the classes. And it is on Facebook, so you can rewatch it. But the community is a private group. So you have to be admit, like this is a private group, but the community is a little different because we go above and beyond. Our projects are more detailed. Our, yes. 
They are more detailed, that's for and sure. And we have kits. And we have kits available, too. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I think it's fun. And this last one in July, we did, we featured heat transfer vinyl and drawing on fabric which is one of my favorite what things to do. do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we made a little <laughs> I summer had a, I had a moment. I couldn't remember what we did. I know. Sometimes there's a lot of projects and we forget what we did. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sandy. We appreciate that. And we're open to suggestions of projects you would like. One of my favorite was the glass etching. So there will be more etching for those of you who purchase the glass etching there will be more etching so we want you to use what you've already purchased anyway any more about the community you want to no say? that was good i just want people to know about it yeah it's a lot of fun oh you genie saved her spools from a retreat oh, oh yeah fun. Mm -hmm. good thing. all right my friends so just um, say a little prayer that I can find that tool that is somewhere in the black hole of my house. It's in that house somewhere. That's Jen. Yeah. <laughs> I know. As I told Salima, there's nobody to blame. I can't blame somebody for it disappearing. So, Bertie, we are not doing the sale for the month of August because there's lots of other things happening in August. So... Um, Sure, we, well, yeah, because the link to join, the link for the, the they go Salima Creates, correct? Mm -hmm. So um, we can put that. Just, if she goes SalimaCreates.com, she'll yeah, get it. We can put that in here, though. I'm just looking for something in the meantime. If somebody else asked a question, I'm just trying to check something. Well, I'm hoping, Mickey, I find this because... You know what will happen. If I buy another one, then I'll find it, right? Yes. Yeah, you'll save money, Birdie. That's right. It's in a very safe spot. You know what, Jeannie? It's in the same spot my diamond earrings are in, which I have. I put them in a safe place, which, like, five years ago, I still haven't found them. Oh, so. thanks, Connie. Put the link in. Oh, thank you, Connie. So Connie posted the link for SalimaCreates.com, and that's where you can go sign up. <laughs> Have you looked the in community. the freezer? <laughs> oh. I love it. Then, Kelly, oh. there's so much stuff on top of my freezer that it'll take me a year to get that off to get in the freezer. Are okay. you a separate freezer? Yeah, I do. Oh. The garage. But there's a long story behind that. Oh, okay. So I don't exactly trust that freezer. It's probably fine. Anyway, my friends, it's been fun chatting with you. And you are more than welcome, Diamond. And everybody, thank you for taking time to come and join us tonight. We know time isn't something you get back, so we appreciate when you um, take time to be with us. I forgot the tools, I know. I know, I'm always going into a room and, what? What did I come in here for? <laughs> make 50 trips to the garage because I meant to pick up like three things and forgot two of them. All right, my dear friends, you take care. Those of you in hot places, stay cool. Um, <clears throat> oh, good. You, you moved your scan cut. I don't think this is under my scan cut, though. I don't know where it is. So I know some, I'm back east are having really bad weather. So everybody stay safe and stay cool and stay happy and play with your scan and cuts. All right, my friends, two, two weeks from now, it'll be scan and cut again. And hopefully I'll have found that tool so we can demo it. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody take care and we'll see you next time, okay? Bye, everyone. Bye.